Diddy daddy doddy, I don't know which. I never know which. I just can't work it out with this fella. Uh, Bin's wrong for this. So I've got to do a bit of reading on this one. Uh, can we go with Sean Coombs? I think at one time he was Puff Daddy. He might be Puff Diddy. He might be Sean Diddy Coombs, Daddy Coombs, Doddy Coombs. I'm not sure. He's not Ilford Coombs. There's no Ilford Coombs there whatsoever. You may notice yesterday, folks, some of you, that uh, I did a little piece on him yesterday. Uh, a young lady he'd been seen for over 10 years. What's her name? Cassandra Ventura. Um, she's chasing him in the courts for a good few quid. I think she says uh, he owes her a lot of money. She's got some lawsuits against him. I think she's trying to go for about £20 million, if memory serves. Now, we heard just today on the back of this uh, lawsuit, she was also uh, insinuating lots of other things, some really, really bad things. But at that stage, as of yesterday, from what I'd read, she hadn't gone legal on these things. She just mentioned them, but hadn't gone to the police about them. She's saying in the 10 years she was with him, he seriously sexually mistreated her, abused her, including rape. He's gone as far as rape on at least one occasion. There's more than one occasion, to be honest with you. But she's not gone legal with any of that. The the, the uh, smart money was saying she was bringing all these things up as a way of strong arming and maybe blackmailing him to pay off what she wanted and she'd go away without any of these accusations going to the police and going to court. Now, I read, and I don't know if it's true, that overnight... She's now gone legal on this. She's actually reported this to the police. But again, I might be getting some dodgy information. I honestly don't know. I mean, it's a long, long way away, the great US of A. And we get to news here later than, than, than most. But it's now said that she's going legal on all of this. But she's added a few things there. I mean, yesterday she mentioned things like trafficking. She mentioned the fact that he may have blew up a rival, uh, uh, rapper rival's car. Um, she's saying today, as well as raping her, He's actually, uh, he's been filming her with male prostitutes. He's made her go with male prostitutes and he's filmed her. And whilst filming her, he was sexually um, pleasuring himself. Um, anyway, he's a 54 year old now, she's 37. She's been with him for a number of years. She's wanted to get away from him, she said, but she's been afraid of him. She said, I actually did leave him in 2019. His response to that was to break into my home and rape me. So I've just been frightened to death. As I say, I don't know what's true in all of this. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, if she's just after money or whether there's truth in it. I would imagine there is more than a grain of truth in it. But as I say, I don't know. I mean, Puff Diddy, Daddy Doddy, for, for those that don't know him, he's most well known for what is it? I'll be missing you. I think his friends and family might be missing him for a number of years if these uh, accusations are proved uh, to hold any weight. Uh, I think he might be inside for a good while. Anyway, he's got a lot of money, he's got a lot of fame, he's got a lot of power. Maybe he can fight these things, and maybe, just maybe, he's done nothing wrong. But we hear these stories so many times about the powerful people in the media, and nine times out of ten, they are guilty of sin. Let's see how this one goes. But as I say, I believe it's now gone legal. I don't know if that 100% is the truth, but that is what I've read earlier on today. So I thought, folks, I would share it with you. wonder what you think.